up you guys it's your good sis i'm just and um first of all i'm gonna talk about the fact that the air quality out here is something terrible okay it's bad i don't can y'all see can can y'all see from my window okay and i'm not in new york i'm in maryland okay and look hmm. okay so now that we got that out of the way what i wanted to talk about is i know you guys probably saw ice cube get on um he got himself on the uh interwebs you know what i'm saying nelson mandela internet and um decided he wanted to try to convince us that the powers that be do not like him because he wants to go against the machine and he isn't a part of the club but I just would like to let y'all know that he very much is okay. And um, I really hope you guys don't forget that he is an actor. He is an he's a very good actor. Very good. You remember Doughboy? That was cute, right? Doughboy. That was cute. That was cute, right? Minnesota Society. You remember Friday? That was cute. That was cute, wasn't it? Isn't he a producer too? Um, y'all remember when Will Smith and Jada Pickett had that whole little red table talk, and people was like, "Oh my God, oh my gosh, they're going through so much." And I'm like, "Yo, they are phenomenal actors." Like, ah. <laughs> I hate to be the bearer of, I hate to be that person, but I just, I need you guys to understand. I need you guys to understand what Ice Dude, Ice Dude, <laughs> Ice Cube did to contribute to the climate that we live in now as people of color. He paved the way for a lot of this effed up as music. And I know that people are like, oh no, Cube's no G, Cube, but you gotta really think about it. Um, NW, niggas with attitudes. The music not all of it but the majority of the music you know kind of before that it, it wasn't it didn't have that negative disrespectful ass tone to it nwa changed the t trajectory and the direction that music has went in and we have heard people say this over and over and over again but what did that really mean It was a, a start. It was the. It was it was the the turning point. Of, rap. This is my opinion. Um. They're the grandfather, of the rap that we listen to today. Um. <clears throat> the bitches and hoes. The. Y'all remember the movie CB4? So, I don't know why CB4 just jumped in my head. But, um, they, the, the damage that Ice Cube have done, has done, it, it, it's, it's irreversible at this point. Especially for him as a lone wolf to try to come out and say, oh, oh, okay, now I'm going to fix it. You know, I have been eaten off of the damage that I've caused for so long and so many years, but you know what? Mm, I, I, I want to stop it now. It just, I'm not saying that he likes what he sees. And I'm not even saying that, I'm not even saying that um, he doesn't notice the damage that he's caused. But I don't, has he ever apologized? Has, has he ever apologized for his contribution to what's going on now ice cube is a, is a highly intelligent person what a lot of people fail to realize is about rappers and stuff like that they are so smart even hood niggas like y'all need y'all need to understand the hood niggas them drug dealers not all but a majority of them is very smart you got to understand the different the different um things you have to do when you're in in that line of work 
you know you're not just a drug dealer you're your security you're your accountant you're your um everything 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 all are wrapped up in one you know so a lot of times drug dealers when they or, or you know people who are in crime like that organized crime when they you know want to go straight it's not that hard for them to become businessmen because they were already businessmen with that being said um ice cube coming out now saying what he's saying it just seems like controlled opposition to me you know and he's so quiet he doesn't get in the middle of the rigmarole and the bs now if Jamie were to come out and say the powers to be that the powers to be are against me, you know, I would believe it. Yeah, I have not seen usually when um, usually when the powers to be want to ruin somebody, the first thing they really go for is your um how the public see you. And I haven't seen that with you. Now, what I can say most likely is that Mm, they want to humble him a bit because he was willing to sit with Trump and um, they and he see what they're doing to Trump and he's like oh I don't want that and so they told gave him a script and was like read this <laughs> but it's just me I believe Ice Cube is very much so in that gatekeeping community you know he he has too much going on. He 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 has too many. He got too much. You know, it's it's no way. It's no way. He didn't go through them doors. Some of them doors. I just think that you know, they got to call out the OGs. They got Beyonce riding a pale horse across the across the 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 unite the globe because she's international. You know, Jamie, Madonna, then then went you know ice cube coming out you know don't be surprised if you see snoop dog doing some things like they, it's like they're caught it's it's y'all gotta understand we in the we're, we're there it, it's a lot and they have to distract the heck out of y'all they have to distract the heck out of y'all and they have been plan planning this for a very very long time so when you see an OG that has been successful their whole career come out and make no let me let me let me reword that when I see an OG that has had a very successful successful career hold on oh excuse me Ooh. it's the air y'all I don't know what's going on, but it's the air. But okay. When I see an OG that has had a very, very successful career, all of a sudden come out and say, I don't agree with um, the industry and I'm not a gatekeeper and I'm not in those circles. I side eye. You know, most likely what's go they're probably passing the torch down to the next person because you know you gotta you gotta train the next um the next generation of gatekeepers the next generation of handlers you know you always gotta pass the torch down um i see controlled opposition i just see a whole i see distraction i see you know when i see stuff like that or when i saw what ice cube said i was like oh man what 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 are they finna do now they gonna do something what's gonna happen now you know what i'm saying what what is the reason the man looked like he was under duress but then again he's an actor he's an actor a very good actor he is a very good actor and that's one thing that we tend to forget when we see people we want so much to believe that these people want to go against the machine and want to, you know, right wrongs and because, you know, we grew up with them. But no, nah, no, nah, nah. that 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 is not that majority of the time that is not the case. And I believe that this is one of those times where it is not the case. Sorry, but that's really my belief. So 
All right, you guys, that's what I wanted to say. But y'all, isn't it crazy how the Canada wildfires took a break for them couple? They gave us them couple of days a break with the smoke down, huh? Oh, they didn't stop burning. The the, the smoke was just like, you know what? Uh, I'm I'm going I'm going to chill out for a little bit. And then it was like, okay, we back. Hello, motherfucker. That's what they said. But, all right, you guys. Y'all have a blessed day. And I just wanted to let y'all know. That just, you know, sometimes just watch the messenger. You know, it doesn't mean that he, he has some guilt to it. <laughs> I'm just saying, you don't get as far as he got. Without going through a few doors, that's, that's all I'm saying. He's been, he's been, he's been in the game. He's been in the game a long time. All right, y'all. Y'all have a blessed one.